These trains are the longest trains that BN runs. Uh, when I talked to Burlington Northern's Vice President Cole, he said that they would be looking at potentially trains of up to over 10,000 feet in length. Currently, they're a little over 5,000. A train every 45 minutes of you know, 27,000 additional locomotives running through town a year. In a place like Bellingham, where the air is pretty pristine, it's going to make a dramatic difference in the quality of our air and the quality of our lives, um, and will significantly increase the risk of a whole variety of diseases, everything from heart disease to asthma. Cape class ships are very crude vessels. They don't have bow thrusters. They're not very maneuverable. They're the largest ships on the planet in terms of the, the, the amount they can carry. They're single hulled, um, and, and they're going through uh, an area that has some challenging currents, some narrow passages, and uh, human error is a fact of life. Uh, the entire point is to dig up American coal from American public lands. They get coal at about 80 cents a ton uh, in sort of no-bid contracts. Dig it up, ship it, and sell it to, frankly, our economic competitors across the sea. People have to realize here is how many jobs are going to be lost based upon interruptions and and declines in business all along the 624 miles. If the waterfront's going to be cut off in Bellingham because of these grade crossings, we'll build overpasses. We'll make them build overpasses. The problem is we can't. If it's a safety improvement, by law, the rails won't pay more than 10% of that safety improvement. Some of these overpasses are 40 or 50 million dollars leaving either local taxpayers, that's us, on the hook for those payments, or the federal taxes. And frankly, that's all our money too. So why should we degrade our environment for the benefit of these large companies that are making a, a profit for their private shareholders? What's in it for the people of Whatcom County?